They uh, say it right, Yu-Gi-Oh community. It's always darkest before dawn. That's your uh, it's your Twilight reference, but the good version. The uh, not night going to day one. So I wanted to talk about the Ash reprint and that very, very beautiful effect on the secondary market and what it means for the player base. Now, I've already made a video discussing the effects of another Ash Blossom reprint. And I've already called it already. I'm going to continue to reiterate this point. I think the Megatons are going to have another Ash Blossom reprint later in the year. This is just kind of like the icing on the cake. They're, at this point in time, they're like, you know what, we're going to just put a few more of these into circulation. We're not going to really think much about it. And I, I don't blame them for that. That's a very good way of going about it. A lot of people, they're acting like they're shocked that it's like two Ash Blossoms per case. And you know what that, I don't know if anyone else has heard the, anal or the analogy yet, but if this is considered half of a core set and then you would double it up to an actual core set, there'd be four Ash Blossoms in a case from 12 boxes. So out of 16 secrets, you're getting four Ash Blossoms. But yeah, somehow the community is like, that's not enough. This, this isn't meant to be a full circulation. It's not designed to be that way at all. But a lot of people are just missing the point that we're putting more into circulation. Here you go. Enjoy. You know, you have the chance to get them. I mean, it kind of sucks that you, you need as many of them as you need to play. But at the end of the day, there's not really much you can do about that. So, but here's the thing. I'm not surprised by this. Oh, cheers, Konami. Fucking, you did it again. I'm not disappointed. I'm not happy. But this was what the community should have been expecting. And as I've said countless times already, you know, should have bought the Ash Blossoms the first time through when they were $50. And now, you, uh, now you're angry because you can't afford them. That's the real shit. So, now that... Everybody at Locals, no, that that meme is literally dead. Everyone was like, oh my god, now everybody at Locals can, can you know, Ash Blossom my desires. Now, maybe two people at Locals will be able to finish those. Now, in, in the spectrum of my Locals, I feel that the people that are going to end up with the Ash Blossoms are probably just going to end up reselling them because they're going to be too much money. I, I think that that's a very fair way of looking at it, actually. A lot of people... The ones that originally had sold their Ash Blossoms are going to be the ones that are going to sell them off again when the next reprint gets announced. <sighs> Robbie, what facts do you have to back up a possible claim for a reprint? Well, patterns, trends, the basement, you know, there, there's a lot of things working here that would say that we were getting another one. I don't know. The, the point in this video is, okay, so we have an Ash Blossom reprint. Ash Blossom reprints, I think I've been pre-selling for $45. Don't quote me on that. That's what I was, I was seeing a little bit ago. I was like, oh my god, that's super fucking ridiculous. Why would you pay that? I'm, I'm going to ask you the same question. Why would you pay that? That doesn't make a lot of... Well... I mean, if you need the card, you need the card. $45 isn't $80, so that's fair. That's that's almost, what, a 50% drop? Not quite. I mean, I wish I knew my, my statistics. It's not... Eh, is it 45%? It's a 45% decrease in the value of the card. So, I mean, the, the reprint did what it needed to do, but it's not enough to satisfy the, the total budget player that can just go out and buy three tins and get them. You know, that... With that being said, we understood this was coming. Um, I can't say I'm fucking shocked that the Ash Blossom reprint isn't readily available. I mean, Konami's got to build a set correctly, and I think producing too many of them would be a bad thing. I mean, especially if we're getting it as a 10 reprint later this year. You know, just buckle up, be calm, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn, just remember that, you know, I would definitely say it's not that dark anymore, it was when Ash Blossoms were $80, but have, have some patience, guys, it's, 
It's not that fucking bad. I mean, ugh. It's still bad, but like, ugh. Not that bad. The important thing that I need people to remember when you're looking at this is the competitive side needed this. Uh, the entry level point for those players wanting to play the game, yeah, two hundred and forty dollars for a set of Ash Blossoms. That was a fucking horrible time for them. And I know a lot of people. Oh, trust me, a lot of people are very happy with an entry level of fucking hundred and twenty for a set of Ash Blossoms, as opposed to literally almost double that. You know, I don't. I understand the general consensus about oh my god we want it to be cheaper yeah i know i understand that and i too wish that my other friends that can't afford ash blossoms could have them but until that point in time my desires will not be getting ash blossomed except by the six people that have them in my local tournament i am actually incredibly happy with that i know I don't, I don't need the shit face grin while I'm going first play and stun and just, I just get Ash Blossomed on to four cards. You know what stun does with four cards? Scoop them up! I literally just yell scoop Stoss Hagen and you just fucking throw your deck across the room and run as fast as you can because you're done. You're done, boy. <sighs> you know, my, I was, I was, I was very happy to see that Konami had taken steps to reprint this and I think the reprint set is it's very good for the game I, I like the way that they constructed it I like the way that we got new cards you know it's been a long time since we've had a legendary collection of any sort the way that they modeled the set for core reprints not even like having them be massively or even readily available to everybody it doesn't it wasn't a terrible idea the execution Eh, it was better. I mean, this was advertised out really well. The thing I wish that they would have done better was had announced the Ash Blossom reprint much sooner. Because I know a lot of people didn't go in on this set. A lot of people were thinking about investing in it. Fucking, what, pre-orders uh, for stores had to be back in January to late December? Don't quote me on that. It was one of those two, but... A product that you have barely any information on needing to go so far out in advance. I mean, a lot of stores don't even want to take these gambles anymore. You know, core Yu-Gi-Oh sets have been fucking shit for the longest time. You know, it sucks. You know, I, I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I really do. But the store's got to make a buck, too. And I think that Konami really pushed things with the Lost Art promotion with OTS packs now being able to essentially be free to stores to allow those stores to run tournaments as they need to and, you know, give them a little bit of profit because God knows these stores need it. You know, there's there's not a lot that these stores can do to make money because Yu-Gi-Oh! set ratios, the loss of the ghost rares, the loss of that ultimate rare value, the, the after... I mean, your trade-off was, cool, you got more super rares, but the long effects of not having blingy cards and things like that it was nice to see the Konami's jumping the, the world exclusive slots from, what is it, 10 to 12? That's That was very nice. Thank you. We needed that. But at the end of the day, you know, is it enough? I don't know. The, this Ash Blossom reprint, it's a good step in the right direction for the year. You know, Konami's got to make their money somewhere. We'll start here because, you know, the next one won't be until August, September, if that so, prepare your wallet, because you already know what's coming. Evenly matched reprint, yay. True Draco reprint, yay. It's an interesting year. Oh, shout, out, shout out to Konami. You know, once again managed to upset your player base by not having them readily available to everybody, but can't fucking please everybody at the end of the day. It's like fucking... It's a shit show no matter what happens in this community. And it's absolutely fucking sad. I, I really wish that this community would be better at accepting things. Be happy with the nice things that they get, even if they're in small doses. But at the end of the day, one of your biggest life lessons, even as a company, as a competitor in, in the current day and age, you can't satisfy everybody. It's literally just how it goes. Fucking you win some, you lose some. 
I think that this was a win-loss situation, no matter how you look at it, for the Ash Blossom reprint. But, that's just my fucking two cents. What do you guys think? I know so many of you are like, oh my god, Ash Blossom, yay, not $240. I agree with you. I do. It's nice, but that's still a lot of money for a lot of players. But, it's again, can't fuck a one of them all. Alright guys, fuck a deuce arenas. I need some food.